everybody and welcome to my bedroom. My name is Annie. I'm just gonna take a few minutes before my bedtime today just to introduce to you a gadget that I have at home. This is the Wanbo Portable Projector. Wanbo is first of all a subsidiary company of Xiaomi. It looks cute like this, like a wall E. It's a full HD projector. The model that I have here is the T2 Pro, the China version. A little bit less than 1kg. The size is just something like this. I'm not going to do an unboxing video here. There are a lot of unboxing videos available on the internet. I've unboxed this like a long time ago. It comes with the projector, a manual with English and Chinese, the cables to go with it, and a remote control. It's pretty standard. What I want to show you is how the projector works for me. It runs on Android platform, so I can actually do a lot of customization for it to work for me. So this is my projector. So at the front here, you can see there are some vent holes. Top here, this is the focus power button. This will be the speakers at both sides. And the back, more vent holes. Power in, USB, HDMI, and also audio in. I plug in a wireless mouse, but you can also use this for pen drive or hard drive. I usually use the HDMI plugged into a computer or a TV box. So basically, you just press this button, or you can just turn it on using the remote control. So I've turned off the lights in my room, and I'm projecting from the left side of my room towards a wall that is facing directly in front of my bed. This is how it looks like. It's pretty sharp. Uh, I've already set up the network which means I can actually um, connect to the Wi-Fi in my home and then I can also pair it with my Bluetooth speaker but I won't do it right now because I want to show you how the sound is like from the projector itself. One of the things I want to show you is the keystone. Not many projector can actually do this. We have this thing called the manual keystone. I don't really need to mount the projector directly in front of where I want it to project. I can actually place it at the side of my room and project like this but it still looks like a nice square let me just go to this one this is already uh, adjusted by me so it does look like a nice square in front of you originally the projection goes like this because it's shining from the side of the room and it comes back to this wall if I want to make it to a nice square I bring it back down Whichever creative way that you can bring the screen back into a square. Okay, I've proved my point. This is the manual keystone feature that I want to show you. You can also choose the language, but unfortunately, there's only English and also Chinese. To show you a quick one, the projector is running on Android 6. Quite backdated, you can't really update here. And we cannot use the Google Play services. We don't have Google Play Store, we don't have YouTube to use, but I'm going to show you what I've done with my projector apps. So File Explorer is the raw one. You can actually store some of the video files, pictures, music or documents inside the projector itself. It has a small capacity of memory. I use it completely for the apps. This will be a projector app. I've installed Chrome. Happy Cast is the Android app. When I turn this on, I can just project my laptop onto the projector without connecting to any HDMI or any cables. I'll show you this later. This one in Chinese, it means just clearing up your memory. So do this to make your machine work best for you. And then this will be a Chinese built-in app. It has some uh, movies. Unfortunately, they're only Chinese. Oh yes, they have some English show as well. Alright, I mentioned we don't have Google Play services, right? And we cannot use YouTube. But this is the equivalent of YouTube. It's YouTube Vans. It looks exactly like YouTube. You can even sign in there at the right top. We have Netflix as well. 
All right. Okay, let's go back. That's some layers and also marketplace, but I don't usually use those built-in apps. Since we don't have the Google Play Store, I've installed this for myself, the Android APK App Store. So the apps are in APK format. You can search for most of the apps here for yourself. I would say 90% they are here, but you do really need to check the compatibility of it. And the last one on the right bottom, this will be a learn learning app so i'm just going to show you how the casting is like without connecting to hdmi cable after i turn this on the top of my laptop here it has this coming up happy cast you can just click this on my projector becomes my second screen how cool is that yeah without connecting to any cables see no cables no string attached so basically most of the things that we need to do are here in your daily life unless you need something else you can always download from this apk app and if you want to connect to your hdmi do go down to this bottom connect to the hdmi or the av cord let me show you the sound to navigate this app i actually use my mouse so this will be the sound from the projector itself And now I'll go back to the setting and connect the projector to a Bluetooth speaker. Go ahead and pair it with my Bluetooth speaker. Oh yes, it's connected. And now that I have connected to the Bluetooth speaker, I'm going to show you some Netflix. All those in favor. All opposed. Well, the PTA has an accepted set of rules concerning the prom. Young ladies must wear non-revealing dresses. Young men must wear suits or tuxes. And if a student chooses to bring a date, they must be of the opposite sex. Well, can't you just ban this student? Well, we've been advised that there may be some legal repercussions if we prevent this girl from attending. So, although it breaks my heart, we have no choice. There won't be a prom. That will be all from me. This is one bowl portable projector. With this, you can enjoy your own private cinema at the comfort of your own home, on your bed. Alright, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of my movie. And that will be the cute projector. That will be the projection. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!